happy about the undisputed king of crabs. I am too. I love I love the crabs. All right, karmic guide. Do you think we can locate it? Um, I don't think we can because um, squirrel token. <laughs> <laughs> there, are, there are swords watching. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anyways, we're here in the uh, local swords gear area, looking to ban you. <laughs> well, we're looking to do holiday cube. Um, yeah. If you didn't know last time, I was the white machine, and I got eighteen phantom points, and I'm going to spend sixteen of them to uh, go into this uh, single limb. My name is Gato. I have metal. <laughs> I just I knew that. Gah. Yep, so beat either. me and get 16 phantom points. That's I, 18, I got 18. 18, 18, 18 phantom points. It requires 16 to get in, though, so you make a very tiny profit. And it is, I was just making sure that single limb was the one we wanted because nobody was in here. But F6ing yeah. is in here. <laughs> Who's the other? Uh, oh no, yeah. Joe and Chris underscore Cab J. <laughs> Oh no, Joe is is pretty good. Oh, no, Joe. Oh no, Joe. There is a single legendary crab. If you believe certain squirrel tokens who care about uh, changelings, uh, Mist Form Ultimus. Yeah. Oh, we got Gonku. the legendary sponge. <laughs> we got Gonku and also uh, who is our eighth? Somebody cool. Wait, Sabo, Sabo. Wait, Sabo. Think... Sabo was pretty cool. Yeah, I remember Sabo crushing. Should I run away? Nah. I don't feel like running away. <laughs> uh, Fisho. The Fisho came. Anyways, we're opening up. We got. We have Archangel of Thune. Um, Jace Belair in many cases. Lo okay. Lodestone, Golem, Recurring Nightmare. Ooh. And then, I assume nothing like Super Standout, no Moxon. No, no. Moxon. Um, there's Sulfuric Vortex, Tooth and Nail, Vesuvian well, Shifter. I'm thinking, what direction do you want to take the deck? I'm thinking either between Recurring Nightmare and Archangel of Thune. Yeah, Recurring Nightmare is always good. I like where that deck leads. I'm thinking it's Recurring Nightmare. Hard to deal with. We saw that deck in action. We did. Um, it's great. And again, mm -hmm. Archangel of Thune is good too, but I think I can pick up Recurring Nightmare. Yeah, and then, you know, find the big creatures, find the ways to get the big men into the grave. and uh... Yeah. Call it good. Recurring Nightmare is something fierce, as we saw in uh, the last uh, okay. match I had against the band with the Grizzle Brand. Here we have Hellrider, Hound, Magus of the Moon, uh, <laughs> and Pernicious Deed. <laughs> Ooh. If we want to. Deed. I'm, I'm thinking Deed. If we wanted to be a uh, reanimator, there is straight up Animate Dead here. The hyper reanimator, but Deed is. Yeah, but Deed is just uh, it's pernicious Deed. <laughs> as you as you learned, it's X or less because it's not a real card. <laughs> There's also Decretal, who I love, but he he, he this pack has a lot of stuff in it. <laughs> mm-hmm. So maybe we'll see Decretal. Probably won't. Maybe. Maybe a of, not. A lot of powerful red in here. Like Hellrider, Magus of the Moon, and Firebolt. I have a love of... I, just, I was thinking Magus of the Arena, but Magus of the Moon is... <laughs> Magus of the Moon is actually pretty cool in this format. Mm. Okay. Uh, Vengevine and Gin Wave. Ooh, uh, okay. Vengevine... Interesting. Boggart Ram Gang. Um, That's a funky one. Phyrexian Arena. Arena ain't bad. It fit, it's on theme. It's on uh, theme. The theme being three mana enchantments. Uh, <laughs> scavenging, scavenging Ooze is also like a playable creature on two. Playable. 
finger quotes. I, I say <laughs> cube playable. It's, I, it's really good, but yeah. Uh, Vingevine, is, Vingevine is more recursion. Uh, Gin Wave is Gin Wave. It's very hard to judge Genesis Wave this early. <laughs> it is. Um, thinking Phyrexian Arena? Yeah, it's either that or the Ooze. Both of them are completely reasonable. I got the Arena. Cool. Uh, whale? Sundering Titan. We need to find... Tribal three mana enchantments. Sund Sundering Titan competing with Diabolic Edict. Sundering Titan would make the first real creature to recur. It would. Um, as much as I love Diabolic Edict. Yeah. It's also some other okay stuff in here, like Landscape Even Valley. like Fiendorn Elves and. Fiendorn Elf, which they include as a second copy of Llanowar Elves. With the bad art, by the way, I hate this art. That's on a ra there is an actual copy of that card printed in life you can get with that art. I know. Why I would why I say would... this because not all the card the new art on cards in the cube you can. Like I can't actually get a copy of of stunted growth with oh, that art. So it... for reanimator targets, we have uh, Shield Red, the Whispering One. Ooh. If we are green, there's Thrun the Last Troll. Okay. Uh, if we want to move into some other colors, there's Sphinx of Lyle, Eldritch Spy, Master of Trust. How about Fauna Shaman? Fauna Shaman. As a discard outlet that also lets us fetch. That's pretty good. The other recurring Nightmare deck also had that. Yeah, because that way we have a card that we can discard, uh, you know, Sundering Titan to go find. Yeah, but I, I don't know. Somebody says Crucible Worlds, which I love that card, but I don't think so this time. Yeah, Crucible's real, but um, in here we've got Survival of the Fittest. Oh, that's like a Fauna Shaman. That's like better. There's also Stillman, Cavalier, Pristine, uh, Talisman, but uh, I think Survival of the Fittest. You want just another copy of that card we just picked? <laughs> Maybe. Should I pick Stillmoon over that? Nah. I, I, I say that jokingly. Like, Survival of the Fittest is one of the most ridiculous cards, and now you can pick creatures with, like, really narrow abilities and you'll always have them. If we can find Genesis, that's like an auto pick. Uh, I have others buried we're... alive. Compending okay. with skin render. I think the removal guy is slightly better. We already just had the... Uh... We have Fauna Shaman and Survival of the Fittest. Right, uh... we have the better ways to discard creatures to the yard. We don't need to pay three to just throw creatures in the yard. There's also Plague Sliver's Cheap Beef and Phyrexian Raver, Raider and the Masticore original version. Yeah. I think Rager would be a completely reasonable creature too because it's like you play it and then you sack it to Recurring Nightmare. Who cares? Hey, Corpse Dance. Ooh. There's also this Uf one there's also is Uven technical. Uven Vault Tracker and Porcelain Legionnaire. Well... Do we have, like, any curve things we really need to solve? Not especially. Not uh, super. We've got two through four right now. And Porcelain Legionnaire. Yeah, Corpse Dance. Two. Corpse Dance is very technical uh, in, in that, like, you need the weir a weird setup to make it work perfectly. Should I pick Uvenvald then? I have very few time. I got Corpse Dance. Okay. So Archangel of Thune came back, weirdly. So it's Slaughter Pact. Ooh, I think we have a plan kind of formed very well, so it, we don't really need to move off it yet, but Slaughter Pact is a good removal spell. It's really good. I'll mm -hmm. Competing with Sarcomancy. <laughs> Oran Viper is reasonable as well. I do love Oran Viper. Mm. But removal's nice. Removal we don't nice. have it. Zero mana removal is pretty good. Necrotal removal. Hey, something to let's... corpse dance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, corpse dance is also top card. E. Yeah, that's why I was saying it was very 
technical. Oh, Vengevine. Uh, or Bugger, oh, we might. Or Bugger Ram Gang. Hmm. I think Vengevine is better than the Ram Gang for us. Funnily enough, Hellrider and Firebolt both made it around, so Holy Red is under shit. D Edict. What? <laughs> hey, removal. Yes. <laughs> yes. Cool. We're in, I think we're in a in. I feel right like colors. we're in good colors. Uh, should I steal Sphinx Adrials or Windbrisk Heights? Uh, which of those can't we? I kind of fear Windbrisk? Windbrisk a little higher. Okay, I got. We have Edict to deal with. Uh, we got Still Moon Cavalier. Sure, we might and play Plague that Slitter. at least on the sideboard. <laughs> that one maybe I, not. But. Yeah, I, I don't think Plague Sliver. I don't think we need a five five that badly. Yeah. Okay, so we've got uh We got Imbracool. A good Emrakul? Imbracool the Aeons torn. Well, um we can't reanimate Emrakool. This is important to note. <laughs> Alright. Um we don't have any moments. In which However, to... You can corpse dance reanimate Ebra Cool. <laughs> uh, other cards. There's Birthing Pod, Shriek Maul, Sylvan Carry added. So went Birthing That's Pod. That's a Volrash Strong. Yeah, Volrash Stronghold is real too. Um, um. Since we can't actually reanimate Ebra Cool, we we, yeah, we all we can do is corpse dance it. So we, we probably don't actually want it. I think that might be correct, sadly. Is, it, Is Sylvan Karyatid correct, then? We already have a lot of uh, Shriek Maw like effects. There's Karyatid, there's also Birthing Pod. Is Birthing Pod? Birthing Pod is also completely reasonable, too. I think it's whatever one of those you feel better on. Uh, I've got Karyatid highlighted, and we got Karyatid. Cool. Um, um, I'm... Skull Clamp, Sword of Light and Shadow. Yikes. Ink Eyes, which doesn't actually do what I want it to do. Because I don't... And basically, oh, there's also Line of War Elves, Natural Eyes, and some Signets. What do we got on Signets? Anything looking like... Green White. <laughs> they can Sword. So how do we do on... Yeah, I was going to say Sword, or Clamp, or... If I had a way to make infinite one ones, or at least some amount of one ones, I would snap pick skull clamp, but we don't. Sword's uh, pretty real. Sword is real. It'll make other black players very sad. Um, I think that's the pick. Yeah. Really skull clamp. I love skull clamp, but. Reasons to pick many of them, but sword, sword, this is another three. Little mug, the infinite Don't gyre, want... uh, mox diamond, mm. yeah. path to exile is not in our colors. Terastodon, though, Terastodon's a real reanimator recurring nightmare target. It's also batter skull, but uh, I didn't even see the Terastodon, and I was like, wait, there's a Terastodon. <laughs> Yeah, Terastodon's like a real reanimator uh, target. We're, we're making the deck that other guy had. We've got Vengevine and Terastodon. Yeah. Okay, and Thundering Titan. Yeah. Uh, uh, somebody has two Eldrazi's now. Somebody. Got somebody, not us. That's cool. What is Gatekeeper of Mallet? Okay, he's just a guy you kick and he becomes an edict. Uh, there's Top, yep. Tree Top Village, Future Dimp. Future Dimp. Elvish Mystic, yeah, he's a 1-1 one, one flyer for one. Wait, no, he's a 1-1 one, one for one, that discard game. And then he, no, he's bad. Um, they can either top or village. Maybe. Yeah. Mystic. Top actually is kind of nice, because we have some discard outlets. We do. So, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, we have shuffle outlets. Yeah, we, we have shuffle that outlets. Are discard. It's top. It's a card you can play in any deck. I yeah. Mean, tree Top Village is good, but I think I go top. Top. Sure. Top. Top is here. Top. We. Yeah. By the so the guy who has Rafellos also has Lanowar Elves, Elish Mystic, and Fiendhorn Elves. This guy's gonna be a really good green machine. Ah, Just stop saying that. 
Well, I got Plow <laughs> Under. And, I got Plow Under and Primal Command competing with Bloodstained Mire if I get a duel. Um. What are all of Primal Command's modes? Don't Half of a Plow Under, gain seven, search your deck for a creature, or shuffle your grave, a grave into a player's library. It's not bad. You feel you that plow over? under and maybe. Mm. It's one of the two. Maybe. Plow under is pretty cool. Okay, then plow under. I want to break, use you to break my thought ties. A uh, Garuk Collar of Beasts. Uh, is that the six mana Gary? Yeah, it's six mana Gary. He can work with Terastodon and Vengevine and stuff. Uh, there's Restock, Bloodgift Demon, Gold Draws, Assassin, Bone Shredder. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff in here that's all really good. Rectos Cackler isn't us, though, I don't think. No, I, I agree. I could have another Arena Gary. with Bloodgift Demon. <clears throat> Basically. Also, Gold Draws Assassin. Uh, what do you think? I have very little time left. I don't know. Gary. I don't know. Sure. Gary's fine. Gary. He draws cards. <laughs> like, Bone Shredder's cool, but we already have two Necrotal effects. Yeah, there's Wicker Bow Elder as a thing we don't have yet. Uh, yeah, we don't have that effect. There's also Precursor Golem. It's just a man. That's a good recurring nightmare card. That is... You stack, stack the tokens to do things. Uh, yeah. It's also something you can recur back with a recurring nightmare. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. I, lo I always end cool. up with Precursor Golem somehow. I need to uh, check and see if that's actually in my cube. I don't know. I don't think we're the Court of Calling deck. But that's we the could... Other. E. It's the only, there's also Beast Within is what it's competing with. Hmm. Yeah. Cord for... You know, we actually really don't have too much recording, do we? That makes me think Beast Within is better. It's just half conditional removal. I've got that highlighted and it turns out that's we got Beast Within. Okay. Well, we got Volrath Stronghold and Birthing Pod back. All right, now that it's back around, can we make better use of Birthing Pod, or is Volrath Stronghold more our style? Uh, we can like Fauna Shaman and Sylvan Carry added into uh, not a lot on. Three. I think we could. I think we could possibly make the pod work. Yeah, with Skin Render and Necrotal can be can become Precursor Golem. Yeah. Yeah, we just blow up all your lands. Hopefully we find some some better early we have, creatures. We have but Ink Eyes versus Natural Eyes. I guess Ink Eyes. I don't really think Natural Eyes is even a card that should be in the cube, but I guess it is. I guess so. it is. Ink Eyes is at least a large body that regenerates. Yeah, we can ninja it. We can ninja. Oh, Nizumi, what is Nizumi's grave robbers? Grave, grave robbers, other mode to do? I can't read. Oh, it. Re reanimate. I knew it did that, but I forgot how it did it. It's competing with Call of the Herd as cheap beef early game. Uh. Grave Robin. What I've got highlighted. That's what we got. Cool. Uh, Maze of Ith versus Yo. terrifying cards for other people. Archangel, Angel That's Trinity, cool to play. I would have expected Maze whoever's playing the control deck to have stole that. Uh, I will play Maze of Ith. Probably. Like, quickly. Uh, Paladin Ilfex, Xanagos, Linvala. Who, who do I want my opponents not to have? I've got... Linvala highlighted. I got Linvala. Hey! Dual Draws Assassin's a cool man. Oh. 
Uh, what's going on? Uh, am I alone? Here's Genesis, so I guess I'm picking Genesis. Hey. Uh, what happened? I don't know. Oh, uh, okay. I disappeared. I, I got Ghoul Draws Assassin, and also I've, I've got Genesis highlighted. Yo, Genesis is real and kind of the card we want with the pile of, you know, what we have going this on pack here. also um, has a ton of stuff in it, though. Dark Ritual, Worn Power Stone, Jiraga Tree Speaker, Master of the Wild. Yikes. Tree Speaker is a card I think we like, but Genesis is a card that fits with our, like, survival plan way too good. It does. Uh, we also got Ingrid Stomp Howler, which might come back and fills a slot we don't have. Is a 5 yeah. for a uh, Birthing Pod. Yeah, as much as I like Tree Speaker, I think Genesis is too good for the plan. I think Genesis is a five for, for birthing pot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That it is. Are we dark red? I don't know if we're dark red. Probably not. Uh, are we black enough for yeah. Erebos? Are we? Yeah. It's just greed with up uh, with another up thing on a line of text on it. It's competing with. I don't think are we the smokestack deck? I don't think we can make real use of smokestack. No. Uh, a wow, it's a gray ogre. And wow, it's competing with Jack All. Yeah, Mishra's workshop to cast Sundering Titan earlier, but being or Precursor Golem. Oh, that's earlier. playing down a land for that. Wow. Uh, I guess maybe we are just Erebos. I think so. This isn't a good pack for us. It isn't. The wheel is going to be awful. Yeah, basically blank. Uh, that's fine. Here we have Lotus Cobra, uh, Braids. Huh. Duress. I don't think we're braids. Gilded Lotus. <laughs> Might be Gilded Lotus. I guess eventually cast our top end. We could... Side of that, or like being Duress, just so we have some more stuff to cast early? I don't know. Wish it was Thoughtseize or Inquisition, but it's not. I've got Duress highlighted. Because we have nothing to do on the early turns. We don't, we don't really. Hopefully, we get Sylvan carry added so we can sort of, sort of skip up, but. We have Duress for Curve. Yeah. Well, we've got one thing to do early game. We can level up Ghoul Draws Assassin. Ooh, uh, true, true. Thrag Tusk? Competing Yo, with. Yosh! That... Competing with Obstacle Bailoth and Graveborn Muse, but uh, Thrag Tusk. Yeah, Thrag Tusk is real. Another recurring nightmare card that's pretty happy to have. Yeah. Thrag Tusk. Football bail off is pretty cool too, though. Yeah, but Thrag yeah. Tusk. Thrag Tusk. Um, we got on color Signet. Yo, like straight on color? Golgari Signet. Com that's competing with Molten Telemaster Core and Ultimate Price. Um, we don't really have fixing. We don't. I think Signet uh, is, a, is also early game. It's tough to do. I think I think Signet is slightly better than the Tomb for... Oh, right. Oh, I didn't even see the under, overgrown Tomb. What am I... Duh. Yeah, I like Signet's better. There's also that. a Dread Mangler. Yeah, Dread Mangler. I don't... He's cool, but... I don't think he's us. Signet's cool. Signets are cool. It lets us. It, it's another ramp piece that lets us cast this Thrag Tusk earlier than we should be able to. Oh, we got Nostalgic Dreams, Digraph That's cool an interesting as an thing. early creature, and Nevdisk. Oh, so it sounds like two cards that don't really. Eh. I guess I wouldn't say doesn't do anything on Nostalgic Dreams, but da 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 da. But uh, Nevdisk. Yeah, I think it, uh, we have a god that survives that. We do. Also, uh, 
There's Thunderball Hellkite here. The Red Machine should be happy. Yeah, there's a Magma Jet and a Char and a Molten Rain, too. And they're also getting Kargan Dragonlord, but Necromancy. It's also Antuco Vigilante as a thing we don't have yet. A thing we don't have yet. Yeah, as a naturalized uh -huh. effect. We only really have two, maybe three good reanimator targets, sadly. Necromancy is still fine on we also Drag have to Tusk, I guess. We also have to figure out how to use Necromancy. I think we know how to use Necromancy. I, I'm not sure about that. You'll have to help me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The card can be cast at instant speed. If you cast it at instant speed, it dies at the end of the turn. Got Hypnotic Spectre. That's a three, which is a slot we really don't have. We also have you in Stunted Growth. Hmm. The Plow Under and the Stunted Growth. We have both. But Hypnotic Spectre is so good. We also just don't have creatures at three. We don't. I think I have to give up the dream and pick Hypnotic Spectre. That's fair. So it's good. So Stomp Howler and Master of the Wild Hunt came back. I think this is our final chance to say something we don't already have in Stomp Howler, right? I believe this is our final chance. Do that, we have to do it then? Is that better than Master of the Wild Hunts? I've got it. Maybe. Uh, I will dance between the two. I think the Stomp Howler is the one we just don't have. We 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 got Stomp Howler. Um, uh, what are these? I don't want people to have White Grip Tide. I don't want them having. Well, why does nobody? <laughs> There's also Student Warfare and Hero of Oxid Ridge in here, but uh. White Grip Tide. Ooh. Good point. We're actually going to be pretty good on getting uh, Erebos online. <laughs> well, we, we became that black. But yeah, nobody's getting White fucking Grip Tide. What the hell? Braids came back. Do we actually want Braids? Or do we steal, uh, do we steal Maloku? Or Mizium Mortars? Yeah, well, let's thieve. We probably aren't playing. We're not a Braids deck. I don't want to face Maloku. Although Mizzy Mortars doesn't kill a lot of our creatures. <laughs> yeah, like our Terrestrodon. Uh, we've got Graveborn Muse as a th second arena effect. <laughs> or Stealing Man. Mirror and Crusader that will kick our ass. Mirror and Crusader will kick our ass. Oh my god, that's pro Hey, Ted Bangler. <laughs> hey, that's a three. Digraph Ghoul. Oh, That's a... get you <laughs> oh. I don't I don't know what we're doing with our deck. Um also We're green black. We're green black. Um we have reanimator targets a couple and a couple of reanimator spells. Uh, magic And we not... have a couple good discard outlets. We have a couple of good discard outlets. Uh, let's get Maze of Ith out at the moment. I think you have to treat Maze of it as a spell if you're playing it. True. So I'll put it back with Slaughter. It's a land that doesn't do anything. Yeah. yeah. Um. So let's see. Let's get rid of uh, what of our what of our worst creatures. Also, Corpse Dance maybe. Diagraph Ghoul. Out. Yeah, Diagraph Ghoul, Corpse Dance. Uh, how many cards were at 30? So, my god! Yep, we have to make a lot of cuts. Okay, let's work backwards then. What are the things we want to keep? Okay, uh, Trastodon and Sundering Titan, Genesis, Check. Thragtusk, Check. Plowder. Check. Maybe. Maybe. I wouldn't put that in the, the straight keep pile. Uh, Fauna Shaman and Survival, I would put in the straight keep pile. Yeah. Straight keeps. Uh, Pernicious Deed. 
Yeah, pernicious deed. I already put it there. Um... I think that's how we have to build this deck the other way around. We have to populate it with cards we want rather than cut like, tw like 12 good cards. Okay, are we a deck that. Uh, plays... Pernicious Deed. Yeah, pernicious Deed. Uh, recurring Nightmare. The digraph will come out to. Hello? I can hear you now. Okay, cool. You went robot there for a minute. Uh, shit. Do we actually care about any guys? Or Gary? Hello? Have I lost you? I've lost Jens. Jens will be back shortly. Um, how the fuck do I build this deck? I have ten minutes to do it, basically. Yeesh. Uh. Hello. Hey. Hello. You're back. Also, I should hear yep. my zoo. Yeah, you... Ah. I mean, you gotta make really liberal... This is, like... Yeah, let's see. You gotta take the damn axe to this one. Okay, do we actually want an Izumi Grave Robber? <laughs> this may be our worst reanimation spell. But we only have three. I like the IRC. That's... Is it in the zoo? Or I passed it by it real was... quick. Yeah. I had to um, bring my okay. zoo in. Golgari Signet and Sylvan Karyatid are on the list, I believe. I, I believe so, too. His top? Maybe. I wouldn't put it in the list. Um... I'm, I'm putting uh, definitely uh, Necromancy and Recurring Nightmare in the pile. Yep. Um, his birthing pod. This is just what we'll have to do, and we'll have to keep working it from here until we hit 23 cards in that pile on the left. At that point, it's just cut, and then we check for curve. Okay, let's I'm gonna make a pile of our removal and see what's, which part of it's good. We have... We have Slaughter Pact, we have, we have slaughter Necrotol pact. and Skin Render. I like both of them. We have Skin Render, Necrotol, Slaughter Pact, Diabolic Edict... And Beast Within is the most questionable, but the one that can deal with anything. I like I, I like oh, that. And Ghoul Drop. We've got ways to deal with the three three pretty effectively. Okay. Um. Hell, the disc might actually be a cut because we already have Deed. Yeah, we don't need two Wrath effects. Uh, like we got to make cuts somewhere, and that's a that's a place. Do we play Stomp Power? That and Precursor Golem are probably okay. Yeah. Uh, Vengevine? I don't know. I don't think so. We're not... I'll take him out for now. I'm also not sure about Birthing Pod. Let's build the... See what the deck looks like, and then see what the pod looks like. I feel like we've got holes the pod isn't going to help us with. Yeah, but I'll take it out for now, and then put it in afterwards. Uh, How about this? Slap out... There's a lot of cards that probably just want to get thrown out for, like, Ink Eyes. And... Yeah, but I had Ink Eyes in the questionable pile. Like, here's the question. Honestly, pile. at this point, yeah. The questionable pile probably just wants to go. <laughs> well, it's got Phyrexian Arena, and our third reanimator spell is, like... Uh, as well as a pretty good two drop. Yeah. Maybe we do keep Grave Robber then? Well, can... let's see what the deck looks like when you if you throw that pile out. How many cards are we at? Uh, we are at 26 without that pile. Okay, so we still need to make three more cuts with that pile gone. So yeah. I feel like we don't want to cut too many more creatures. creatures. So let's, let's look at top our Top probably creatures. gets out. Yeah, top. What are you doing, top? Maze of Ith, maybe. Boarded in for, like, certain situations. I like, like me. It's not... Because top out brings us to 25. One of our removal spells would bring us to 24. What is our worst removal spell? And then... Probably... 
If if we cut Stomp Howler, we should keep Beast. If we keep if we cut Beast, we should keep Stomp Howler. That's just a way to deal with non-creature problems. Then let's keep Stomp Howler. We said we didn't want to cut too many creatures. That's true. That puts us at twenty-four. We've got Hypnotic Specter, Dread Mangler. I think we can keep Sword, although we don't have a whole lot early game to carry it. That's okay. Yeah, I think, I think we could cut Still Moon if we're keeping Sword. Probably. Bring him in against the white and black decks. Just to have another thing. Yeah, and then we have double hate. Or we could cut Sword and keep Still Moon. Like, you know. I like Sword better. And then we have Maze of Ith as any of these guys up here in this pile. Is there anything up there that's more exciting or more useful than Maze of Ith? Fire Arena and Grave Robber are cards that are both okay. I don't know. Are they, are they better than Maze of Ith? Like, what do you feel about Maze of Ith? Is it, should it be in the deck or not? I like Maze. Maze is really good. I know it is. Like, so let's uh, look at this deck. Yeah, I would say, how about we check the curve? That's a that's a good point. Uh, life starts, it doesn't look that bad. It's a little bit shaped like a club, but I've played that deck before. We have 1-1 one, one drop, 5-2 drops, 6-3 drops. This isn't bad at all. And then the question then becomes, like, Maze of Ith could also be the birthing pod if we have enough stuff to support that on the curve. Well, we have 2-3, to 3-4, 4-5, to four, four to and then no 6, no 7, and then all the way to 8. So basically, like yeah. Skinwinders or Necrotals would be becoming Thrag Tusk or Pukers or Golem. Okay, I think we just keep it as is and throw in the lands. Okie doke. Oh, uh, sort by color. Heavier black. Ten, seven. Yeah, ten, ten, seven. seven question ten, seven, mark. Ten, seven, or nine, eight. We've got the Signet that helps yeah. a lot. Uh, yeah, the Signet's really cool. It says 9-8. That was really good. Well, let's just go with it then. Sure. We got the 9-8. And, uh... I don't really have any idea how to play this deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got, a, we've got a pile of cards here. Um, It's got some exciting things to it. Like, we could... It's got Survival the Fittest with Genesis with... Uh, recurring Nightmare and Necromancy. We've got some silly things. I like that. I like it too. We have 30 seconds to submit this deck. Submission received. Who do we fight? Mm. Yep, that took a long time. Yeah, Erebos will probably be turned online. We lost the die roll. Oh, I cannot keep this hand. Single forest. Uh, single forest. It's got... <laughs> yeah, we do have the sideboard into a completely different deck thing. That's... Usually that's how it goes with a cube. Uh, Maze of Ith, Forest, 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 Ghoul Draws, Assassin, Sundering Titan. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Do fives look better than this? We have Maze of Ith to stay alive. How about we... Yeah, we could just run with it having Maze. I'm inclined to keep this over taking a five card hand. If we draw to either of our survivals, we're good? Yeah, I'm going to uh, keep this. I would not pay the, play the Maze until he actually presents a creature that you need to Maze. Yeah, he is green. He's playing Elvish Mystic. Oh god, no. I am inclined to play Maze now. Please, no. I drew Forest, so I'm inclined to play Maze. Well, Maze doesn't tap for mana. Remember that. Okay, we'll play Forest then. Jeez. Like, un until you need to Maze, like, there's no point in playing the Maze because you're passing a land drop. Uh, he's got I'm a three. I'm like two or three. For Green Sun Zenith for two. What does he get? Another mana dork. <laughs> Probably. 
Rofalos. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no, it's him. It's him. <laughs> we summoned it. I drew Necrotal. Mm, I guess you can finally play that. Yeah, whatever. Is there? What can he do to me next turn? He can produce one, two, three, seven, four. Make it well, one, two, three. He makes a land drop, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. What hasty mono green thing is haste at seven? Mm, it's nothing. That's the thing. Like you probably don't need to play that maze until something presents itself. Yeah. Let's play a forest. That's what I was looking forward to. At least I'm holding the Necrotal. <laughs> If I can ever get to four, if I can ever get to mountain uh, swamps, the other than that land I didn't say. Yeah. Here comes a uh, Gary Wild speaker. <laughs> ramp, <laughs> ramp, 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 ramp. Uh, well, he is untapped. No, two you lands. did say that you did want to see the no, green machine. No, somebody in the zoo said that. I didn't say that. Oh, he is harmonizing, so he is refilled. Uh, okay, well... Another dork. The words were spoken. And here it is. Up survival of the fittest. Cool, you drew it. Um, I play it. Uh, ditch Sundering Titan to pick up what? Well, you, you play it and pass. like, And then you don't ditch until you need... Until you... Uh, pass the turn. Yeah. Like, until his end step. Yeah. So what do I actually... I'm pitching Sundering Titan to it. What do I pick up? Good question. Like, Sylvan Karyatid the mana fix? That sounds like a plan. Um... Yeah. Oh, this man has infinite mana. Yeah, he basically has whatever the hell he wants. He has infinite mana with Gilded Lotus. Oh my god. Please, I, just kill us. If it isn't Imrakul... Oh, uh, he played a morph. Which has a weird thing. i never seen that That one I'd hurt? Like, he's got online morph. Uh, he flips Nantuko Vigilante. Okay. Uh, activate your survival. Um, discard a pay green. Discard Sundering Titan. Wow, when did that get the? I don't know. Um, so let's pick up Sylvan Karyatid. Yeah, Sylvan Karyatid. I think that's the the way to not lose here. Yeah. So whatever he super ramps into. If it isn't him, Rat Cool. Here's As Arbor a heads <laughs> up. Yeah. As a heads up, you're actually dead next turn to Overrun from Garrick. <laughs> oh, right. Overrun. So am I just dead? I think you play Maze, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Because he has five creatures, they all go plus four, plus four, and then you die. Yeah. Not expect her. So let's play Maze of Ith. And uh, play Sylvan Karyatid. Yep. Here we go. <laughs> this is insanity. This man has... I've, I must have angered this man for getting the Sylvan Karyatid. Right? That was his card. Yeah, he's overrunning. Well, then you Maze of it, the biggest one, and count to see if you're dead. And That's if you are, eight, you have to... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I go to 1, which means I think I just lose this game. Oh, absolutely. This game's over as hell. Zoop. I have no outs to play to. Um. Well, sideboards. 
Beast Within for Gary. <laughs> That's reasonable. Drawing Pernicious Deed would be good. Just drawing Pernicious Having deed. Black Mana would be good. Um, so I think Beast In for what out. Yeah, what's bad here? Like Stomp Howler doesn't have has a target in Gilded Lotus. I think that's a good. I think that's a good swap. Yeah. Um, in we go. Oh God. I would like to play first. Um, Fauna Shaman, Survival of the Fittest, Thrag Tusk, Skin Render, Swamp Swamp, I, uh, Forest. I think I keep this hand. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. You said forest. <laughs> <laughs> I was so scared. Um, I play forest first. I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, lead with lead with the forest foot. I don't know. It hides my intentions the longest. Well, he doesn't even know your second color. Yeah, this is what I mean. Here comes Dragon Tree Speaker. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> So I think Fauna Shaman is the better two. Um, I drew Beast within. That's good to have that. I think I slammed down Fauna Shaman. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, I draw like a reanimator target or reanimator spell. Like if I draw a recurring nightmare, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason Fauna Shaman's the better play. And he's leveling up Draga. You gotta play yep, off that. Probably two mana dorks. You know, probably, at the very least, tap to level up Draga Tree Speaker. He's tapping Yikes. Draga Tree Speaker to Green Sun Zenith for one. To get a mana dork. <laughs> this freaking dude. Um, I drew Precursor Golem. Um, I actually think Precursor is the one we ditched to Fauna Shaman. And pick up Sylvan Karyotid again. Uh, we pass turn again yeah, and I know see that. what happens. Yeah, let's just pass. Again, these are all decisions that are made, you know, at the. Got a inf he's got infinite mana right now. For prime time. Guess what's becoming a 3-3 next turn? Is Garrick back already? Uh, no, it's Primeval Titan. <laughs> oh, Primeval Titan! Yikes! Yeah. You could tutor up Necrotol and pray to draw a land. Or I could just, yeah, I, was, I should probably do that, and then, uh, if bearing all else, I'll turn it into a 3-3, three, three. so I'll just do that now. Yeah. And, like, discarding Precursor, because, uh, whatever. Yeah. Or, I, yikes. Uh, come on, where's Necrotol at? Here's Necrotol. Yeah. Come on, land. This guy's mono green as hell. He picked up two forests. <laughs> Not even treetop village. Yeah, so. Come on, land. He was Ghoul Draws Assassin. That was. Seriously? Mm hmm. So we just based within it before combat. on his turn. Yeah. Mm. That sucks. That sucks a lot. <laughs> so when it goes to begin combat, I will, um... Yep. Yep. It sucks. Hooray! Beast of the end. Like, if you get the fourth land, you have two Necrotol effects, which is, like, really good, but... Yep. I guess I'm. Um, what do you do, buddy? He. I think he's passing turn. 
He's still on the second main. He's thinking. Yeah. The guy's got eight mana. If he's passing on that with a full grip. Yeah, I don't think he's going to do that. What are you doing, buddy? Maybe he knows I have the Necrotal in hand. He's playing another dork. He's leveling up Derogatory Speaker. Yeah, uh, if that gets fully leveled, his land or else tap for double. And leveling up Derogatory Speaker. And leveling up Derogatory Speaker. Uh, he he cannot level it up. Well, he can. Yeah, he can level it up. It's level and three. leveling up Derogatory Speaker. Are you going to do it? Yeah, he's, he's doing it. Leveling up Derogatory Speaker. Okay, next turn he will be able to tap all his elves for double mana. Please, no. Eesh. And no land. Come on, land. Uh, undergrown, overgrown tomb. For Uvenvald Tracker. Um. Okay. Okay. I drew a forest. Um. Yay! Do I kill his Uvenvald Tracker or uh, hold or skin render his beast? Skin render his something sounds good. Probably the beast. Probably the beast. Uh. Then you get to attack with Fauna Shaman. Oof. I, I do. So let's do that. So that Overgrown 2 must have been in his hand. Yep. Skin Render comes down. Ah, uh, Targeting Beast. Spending two removal spells to deal with, uh... Prime Time. Yep. And yep. Sure, I will attack with Shauna Fahman. Shauna Fahman, I said. Since I'm holding uh, Survival of the Fittest in my hand. Yeah, what the hell do you care if that dies? He just takes two. Surprisingly. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> yeah, Dr Draga Tree Speaker is like the next target, but the the big thing was that the Primeval Titan, the 3-3 the, the three -three needed to die because he got Uvenwald Tracker down yeah. any cr other creatures forever. Yeah. I am actually thinking, Man, if, should I hold Necrotal for whatever he ramps into? He knows I have it, though. Okay, here comes level that's fair. under I get Tree Speaker. If I draw okay. land, I get to so play now, Thrag Tusk. That's good. You could also just level Goldraw's play and level Goldraw's Assassin and start setting that up. Yeah. That'll probably be my play if I don't... Yeesh. He's tapping... I actually do... Oh... Woodfall Primus. Oh no. And there goes a land, and then it persists, and there goes another land. <laughs> yep. I think that's game. He's, he's eating a swamp. So I, I didn't say I wanted to see the green machine, but I did say that uh, he's having the Primus fights. Uh, Sir Vitaly. No, God, yeah, he gets a <laughs> Woodfall Primus start fighting yep. shit. <laughs> Uh, Welp. You are dead as all hell. I drew a uh, forest, so I couldn't even like play Necrotal if I wanted to. Uh, you don't even get Thrag? I can't even play Thrag Tusk. The end. <laughs> oh, so wins. Return to Detai. He will. Oh. Yeah, so whoever called the mono green deck being pretty good. <laughs> how many mono. How many machines do we have left to see? I am so salty. Why did you do that? No. You asshole. Oh, uh... <laughs> you're. <laughs> Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> oh, I've played the white. We've seen the red. Here was the green. So that leaves uh, blue and black. Yeah. I wonder what the blue machine looks like. Time walks. That sounds fun. Time walks. And so, uh, 
Time to I'm, I'm I am I am out. I no longer have a cube left in me. Yeah. Well, nuts. Hooray! Uh, <laughs> do, do you have a cube in you? <laughs> not not today. I've got other things I need to take care of tonight. <laughs> That's fair. Uh this is lowly stump goblin. This is my revenge for not dropping a game the last time. <laughs> That's fair. Anyways, thank you for joining us. This was this was vile, but uh, thank thank you for joining us. And yeah. Thank you for joining me, Jens. It's always a pleasure <laughs> to have you around. Remember, try to be monocolor. It just works so much better. <laughs> right. Skulls. Yeah.